Hello, what's up? My name's Leah, and I want to welcome you to my channel. I am going to try to start making regular videos about anything beauty, um, travel, hair, anything that I can. I want to regularly start doing. And today's video is a empties video. So I have a bag full of empties here. Um, this is about six, five months worth of empties actually. Um, so it's actually not a lot for five months, um, but they're empties nonetheless. So I'm going to throw my trash out and I'm going to go through it with you and see what I liked, what I didn't like, what I would re what I would repurchase and what I have repurchased. Basically review everything. Um, and then at the end I'll get to throw out my trash and um, recycle the products that are recyclable and sadly the rest gets thrown away. But yeah, these are my empties. It's five months worth of empties in this little bag. <laughs> it's really sad. Um, let's just get started. Um, I'm just not gonna go in order like I usually do. I'm just gonna grab off the top of this other bag here so I can start dumping them in. Let's see, the first thing I have here is the Curl Smith's Food for Curls Moisture Memory Reactivator for curly wavy hair, textured or dry hair. I used every single drop of this. I actually had it like upside down. This product smelled really good, like really good. I love the smell of it. I don't know that I noticed anything that I did with my hair different. Like since I stopped using it, I didn't replace it with anything and I don't notice like my hair is missing it. Um, so I did not repurchase this. I didn't have anything against it, but I also don't remember it because I did use this up a while ago. Well, actually it can't be a while ago if it's sitting on top, but it's been a couple of weeks now and I'm I'm using up a hair oil. I used to use this and the hair oil together, like I'd mix it together and put it in my hair. But I just want to finish that hair oil before I open another like moisturizer. What is this? Like a leave-in conditioner. I use this like as a leave-in conditioner even though it doesn't actually say that. But that's what I used it as. So I didn't replace it with anything and I haven't missed it. So not sure I would have purchased. But I did like it. Nothing was wrong with that product. I have a deodorant. This is the Dove Dry Spray Go Fresh Cool Essentials deodorant. I I purchased this. I repurchased this actually. This is the second time for well, second time having it. The first time I won it in a gift basket, like a it was like in a gift bag thing at a party or something. And I loved the smell of it. I loved how refreshing it was. So I did repurchase it. I did not repurchase it this time though because I just, I don't like this packaging, like this is not really good for the environment. Um, love the smell, but um, it's not good for the environment. So I actually uh, um, purchased a zero waste deodorant to replace this, but if it had better packaging I would so repurchase this because I love it. The next thing I have is the Ollie Heavenly Hair Strong Support. Healthy growth. They're gummies. It's like gummies specifically for hair. This is my second time I think using Ollie vitamins. I it's been a while since I used this up. They tasted amazing and they smelled amazing. I don't remember. I think I noticed the difference in my nails, but it doesn't say nails, it just says hair. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're kind of expensive for what they are. I purchased it because, again, I thought I was, like, my hair was falling out. My hair still falls out a lot. How bad is it that I just looked at, a at the floor when I said that? <laughs> um, my hair falls out a lot, so I bought these to kind of help with that. I don't know. I don't know if it made a difference. I thought they tasted good, though. Didn't repurchase them. This was in a project pan. This is the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream. Uh... Let's see. This was in my non-makeup project bag. I hated this. I so when I use this on my face, I got like a really like my face felt really hot. Um, so I never didn't use it. I was using it on my legs. I was mixing it with like a tanning lotion that I have. 
and it made that lotion like really thick and I didn't like it so I took a break from it and then at the beginning of this year I was like okay that's been sitting there for a while I need to use it up and I put it in that project thinking I had a lot of product left in it but it had so little product in it I was like really upset with myself I was like I really stopped using this product right before I was gonna finish it like I had so little left and I decided oh I'm gonna take a break from it and put it away when really I could have finished it it was like honestly it was like a quarter size amount it was I think I used it like two or three times before I used it up so if you're following that project plan which I have not done a second video for I use up a product <laughs> I'm so happy that that's gone. I used up a Dove Sensitive Skin so far. I only use this stuff. I have very sensitive skin and yeah, this stuff. I repurchased it time and time again. Um, this is the Downy Wrinkle Releaser. I love this stuff. I purchased it for traveling um, a couple years ago and now I use it every time I need to release wrinkles in a pinch. Um, sometimes like I forget to iron my uniform the night before and I'll just hang it and spray this on and it also helps In addition to release wrinkles. It also helps with the smell like it smells like fresh laundered clothes So I actually really love this stuff. I have already repurchased it definitely recommend uh, The other thing another thing I used up diva curl Mo melt in moisture matcha butter conditioning mask This stuff smelled really good um, I was terrified to use it because um, I know Diva Curl had that big scandal, but I wanted to get rid of the product. Like I wasn't gonna just not use it, even though, because I know people were saying that it messed up their hair and had a lot of issues. But I had this in my collection before it started. And I didn't use it, and I was like, I'm going to use it, and I completely used it up. I cut it open, like it is completely empty. I don't know. I'm trying to show you guys um if it if there's ever a product where i can cut open or something um or any of these really anything like this i have a scraper and i scrape the product out so that it is completely empty i make sure to use every drop of my products up oh, because i'm super cheap that way um i used up a face mask this is the shea moisturizer sorry shea moisture um african black soap clarifying mud mask um, this is for blemish prone skin. I use these little packs from Target quite a bit. Like they last me like 10 uses. So I like just roll them up and I clip them close to seal them. And it like, takes me a really long time to go through these because I rarely do face masks. Like I really have to focus on using these face masks up. Um, I think they're supposed to be like single use but I use these like 10 times. And I, only, I don't put it like, I don't cover my entire face. I only do the part that's blemish prone. So like this area, like basically the T-zone area. Um, that's the part where I'm really oily and I have a lot of um, blackheads and it's where I tend to get my pimples. So yeah, um, happy I got rid of that. I think I only have a couple of those little sheet, those little, these little packet things, foil packets left. Um, I really want to get rid of those foil packets because I don't like having to like clip it and I'd rather just have it sealed. Um, I have another one of those blink contact eye drops, lubricating eye drops. I go through these like crazy. Um, I am a contact wearer um, and my eyes get really dry when I wear contacts so I go through these a lot. Constantly repurchase. Um, I actually did not repurchase these last time because they didn't have it so I have different eye drops right now but I would repurchase if they were there. This I used last year up for sure. This was in my 2020 makeup empties. I finished it in 2020, but I haven't done a makeup empties since October of 2020. So that's why it's here. Um, this is the Benefit Professionals. Um, well, well, Benefit Professionals. It's for minimizing pores. I completely cut this open. Actually, after I cut it open, I still had so much product in it. Like, I cut it open probably like in September and I used, I still scraped it out enough to use the rest of the year. Um, I was really happy when that was finally gone. Uh, let's see, I have a toothpaste in here, Sensodyne toothpaste. Um, repair and protect. I have to use toothpaste for sensitive teeth because I also have really sensitive teeth. Um, this is not the Sensodyne 
um, that I usually purchase though. Um, right now I have a different one that I stole from my parents because I ran out of toothpaste and um, they offered so I was I pick I got theirs but they they have the one for white whitening and my teeth are so upset with the, that right now I really need to purchase um, a sensitive teeth one. This one I knew I used up last year because I was filming my makeup and like skincare inventory and I forgot to put this in there and I knew I only had like one use left in it so I didn't even I, it wasn't even in the video. Uh, this is the uh, Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. I did like this at first but towards the end it was really thick which because it was old. Um, and I would repurchase it I guess. It's really refreshing when it's when it's not old. Um, this was kind of old at the end. Because uh, I don't really do a skincare routine in the day and I think this was more for day. Um, so I would have to really remember to put this on. This was in one of those like Sephora favorites kits that I bought. Um, I'm slowly going through the products that I bought through those like really slowly. Because I don't have really an everyday routine. I kind of just do things as I feel I need it. Um, this is a makeup use up from this year. This is a mascara. Um, I it's not, honestly it's kind of like a declutter though because I rarely used it. I opened it and then I decided I didn't like it. So it actually it's probably pretty full but it's dried out. So that's sad. But I can't use it. Like it didn't coat my eyes anymore. Uh, I'm going through the smaller products. <laughs> I notice I'm, go I'm going around all the big products. This is, um, I actually just used this up um, a few days ago. This is the Shaba Complex Eye Serum from Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant. I, you know, I filmed the beauty inventory, but I never got around to editing it and putting it up. So it's been sitting on my computer for three months. I really need to edit and put it up. But I don't remember if I had any other eye serums. The other day I went to Target and they were having a deal where you buy like $40 worth of beauty products and you get a $10 gift card. So I bought an eye serum thinking I only had a few uses left in it. And I came home that night and I was like, oh, I'm going to use the eye serum because, I, again, I don't have a regular skincare routine. And I use, I tried to use it and there was nothing in it. I was like, really? <laughs> This is just sitting in my bathroom empty for like a week or two before I finally realized it was empty. But I bought an eye serum at Target with that deal so I'm happy. But I don't remember if I have any other eye serums in my collection which is really bad. Let's see. I have a hair tie. I use hair ties till they are completely like stretched out and ripped. Um, I don't know. I'm really cheap that way. I have so many hair ties, um, but I don't use. I don't throw them away until they rip, even though they're super stretched out. So I moved on to another one though. Uh, onto the. Oh no! I still have one small product. This is a lip balm. This is the Soft Lips in Pearl. Um, this came in a set of two. One was the original, and um, one was the Pearl. I finished the original original last year, the end of last year, and then I um, started, I actually, in my project pan, I was, in my project pan for this year, I was going to have this lip balm in the project pan, but then I rolled it up all the way to see how much was left, and it had like this much left, and I was like, again, so many of my products are like that, where I use up, a, I focus on a product for a very long time, and then I decide I'm tired of it, and I want to use something else. So the products just sit, even though they had this much, I really need to stop giving up on my products because I could have finished this a long time ago. Um, but I didn't, and this was super expired. Yeah, it said 2013, but I used it up this year. I actually did dig up a little, oh, I rolled it all the way down for some reason, but I actually did dig into it a little bit too. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but I did dig into it. Um, I'm happy to get this done. My lip balm collection actually is going down slowly but surely. Uh, let's start with the vitamins. I have been on a vitamins kick, <sighs> but I hit the gummy kind because they're really good. <laughs> this is the Vitafusion Women's Supercharged Multi Vitamin for energy, metabolism, bone, and support. Um, I actually am on a vitamin kick really because I had a physical 
um, I believe it was in 2019, where I it, my vitamin D was like dangerously low. So they told me to buy some over-the-counter medication, and since then I've been taking vitamins that include vitamin D, or I just buy straight up vitamin D. Um, and I do notice a difference when I take vitamin D regularly. Like I notice I just have a better mood, I have more energy, um, otherwise I'm super lazy. I mean, I'm super lazy all the time, but I notice that it's slightly better when I'm taking the vitamins regularly. Um, so, I mean, I go, I switch on and off, so I'll do like just regular women's vitamins and then I'll take just regular vitamin D and I'll flip through like that. Um, but I do like these gummies, they're good. The Ollie ones taste so much better, but they're expensive. Uh, so this is, uh, Nature's Made Vitamin D. Like I said, I, f I rotate through and, um, this is... These, uh, I don't like, I did not like these gummies as much, they're a lot harder and they're not as good, but I bought this one because it was extra strength, and before um, taking these, I believe it had been a while before I had taken vitamin D, um, because I don't take them regularly, like I don't take them every day. Uh, so I noticed a difference and that's why I bought extra, extra, extra strength. Um, vitamin D gummies. So that's why I bought these. I would not repurchase them though, I would just purchase the regular vitamin D ones from a different brand. From the Vitafusion brand actually. Uh, last two products, which I used up pretty close together. So that's done. Um, these are the Love Beauty and Planet um, shampoo and conditioner. They're different um, scents. This is the shampoo with sea salt and bergot. Bergamot. Um, this is sulfate free shampoo. And the conditioner was tea tree oil and fetchfear. Gosh, I can't even say the ingredients. Um, I've talked about this brand several times in these empties. I don't like this brand. Um, but you know, they always had those deals where you buy like four and get five dollar gift card or something like that. Anytime there's deals like that, I tend to take advantage of them because I get to really try out a brand. Um, so I did buy a whole bunch of Love Beauty and Planet products and I like I want to give this brand a chance because I love that it's um, for helping the planet. Like it's recycled um, bottles. Yeah, both these bottles are recyclable. Um, a lot of their other products are like way better for the environment than other things and then there's not a lot of chemicals in them, they're um, no everything, they're cruelty free. So I like what the company stands for, but I don't like the products. The products suck, man. They really do. Um, they kind of... These are not the first shampoo and conditioner that I have tried from this brand. Um, for a while I was actually thinking that it was this that was causing my hair loss. Um, of course now, I, now that I'm not using these products, my hair, I feel like I have less hair loss. So that's interesting. I don't know. I really, there's a lot of things that could have been causing my extreme hair loss, but now I'm, it's not, not as bad. My hair loss is not as bad as an issue as it was back then when I was using these. These, these are probably from last year, honestly. Um, cause it's been a while since I used Love, Be Be Love Beauty and Planet products. I don't think I have any of their, oh no, I have two more products left, but they're not shampoo and conditioner, so that's good. Um, I have like a bar of soap from Love Beauty Planet and I have a hairspray. The hairspray I do not like, it's an awful hairspray. But again, it's not an aerosol hairspray, it's like a, a pump that's an airless pump or something or something like that. It uses air to pump the hairspray out, but it's awful, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, so these are the last, this, that was it. These are my empties. I would not repurchase that shampoo and conditioner. Don't recommend that brand, I really don't. Um, but yeah, that's all my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I would really appreciate if you guys uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you want to follow along in my using up products journey. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.